AFTV, we're rounding it up now. I'm going to start with you. I remember I saw you in, um, in Baku. That's right. Um, uh, that's <laughs> that, that didn't go well either, did it? That's right, Robbie. Uh, listen, first time I'm coming on your channel, and you know what? As I said to you in Baku, I'm a 79 boy, old school, right? But things have got so bad, I think I've had to come here and hunt you guys out to say my piece and whatever, right? Where do you think the boring, boring Arsenal tag was coined? And when, rather? Right, it's George Graham days. Uh, actually, it was before that, Don Howe days. Oh, yeah. Between 80 and 86, we were playing diet football and uh, we were going nowhere. We we're mid-table and not getting anywhere in the cup competitions. But you know what? The boring, boring Arsenal tag was coined by Don Howe's defensive system because we were defended solidly. Now, the reason why I say that, right, is because at this moment in time, we don't defend properly. We have no midfield and we have no attack. It's this functional team. It's, it's just all over the place, right? And it's been going on for some time now, right? And you know what? The thing that upsets me the most, right? We all come on here, AFTV, voicing our con uh, uh, concerns and we're upset and we're just annoyed with things and all the blogs and vlogs that you read and see and whatever. But inside the stadium today, right? Inside the stadium today, on block five lower tier, right? And it was, uh, we want Emery out. Went out for a little while and then it died down. I actually started off, we want our Arsenal back. But that didn't carry on around the stadium. So, you know what? We are too passive as fans, too passive. And respect to people like DT and Troops. I respect them. Let me ask you, and I'm going to ask, I'm going to go around and I'm going to ask everyone here. Does he stay or do you think it's time for the manager to go? <laughs> Robbie, come on, that's even a silly question. And, and I respect you as a, an Arsenal man. That shouldn't even be like a question of he should have been, he should be given a red card like a few weeks back, you know. I've gone for you. For, by the metrics, going by the metrics of what we've done in 2019, the last eight, nine games of uh, last season and what we've done this season, statistically, we're not making the top four. And do you know what? You see the team, everyone else sees the team. Is there any plan? Is there any like progression? Is there any pattern of play? Is there any kind of combinations going on? Nothing. It's dead. It's, it's gone. It's gone. Gone for me a long time. You know what? I'll tell you one thing. You know what? Any other big club would have sacked him after Baku, so would have sacked him after Baku because the way we imploded the last seven, eight games of last season when we had the easy run in, we imploded and then have you ever seen an Arsenal team capitulate in a final? You know, and you've never seen that. Okay, we lost to City 3-0 in the Carabao mm. Cup final, but not in the way we did against Chelsea in Baku, we were there. It's done, mate. It's done. And, and just as a vision going forward, we haven't got the owners who will put their money into a big manager, like people say Allegri, Enrique or whatever. So, you know, we should be concentrating on a visionary manager, you know, maybe Arteta or, or Nangles, someone who doesn't rely on spending money, you know, and then just, but you know what, bottom line, I think as long as the Cronkies are here, we're, we're done, we're done, we're okay, done. Let me, let, me, let me ask you, sir. Hey, it's Robbie. Uh, I'm a fan of Arsenal since 1979. I used to live in London. I supported the team. I used to watch all the games. Now I live in the States for the last, since 1982. And I follow you guys. I follow Arsenal. Uh, First of all, I would like to support what you do, and I support troops, and I support Arsenal TV because this is this is the voice of the fans. Thank you for that. Uh, and, and 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 with it, you know, you so you've been going to watch Arsenal for a very long time. Have you ever seen it this bad? Just to tell you the feelings, you know, I used to look forward to watch Arsenal game. I usually come three times, maybe four times a year to watch uh, the, the Arsenal uh, team right here. I watch them every week at home. I lose, used to look forward, you know, to go watch Arsenal playing. These days, like today, when I came, I, you know, 
I spoke to fans, they tell me, you know, uh, I asked, what, what's your pre prediction? He says, 4-0 for us. I told him, you know what, I'll take 1-0. He goes, no, they lost 9-0 to Leicester. I said, that was Leicester. So, uh, you know, answering your question about the manager, I think the manager should have gone when drew Crystal Palace at home 2-2. Two -two. So you that, think, so for you he should go? He should go. And for me, I would even uh, appoint Loinberg because he's an Arsenal man, he's an Arsenal player, he has Arsenal DNA in his uh, blood. So I would appoint Loinberg for, for now and sack uh, Emery yesterday, not tomorrow. Okay, thank you. What about you? Well, it's a result business, and based on that, uh, Ona Emery's position as the manager at the moment is untenable. I think that actually is a simple question. Um, the real question is, who do we get in? Two factors. One, um, do you think a very serious manager would like to come to Arsenal now? Do you think? I, I do. I still think. I still think Arsenal. Well, big, you know, huge stadium, massive worldwide support. We were talking about it the other day. We were saying that uh, Granit Xhaka. I know he was talking about the abuse he got on Insta and that, but before he came here, his Instagram account, he had about 10,000. Now he's got 2 million. Yeah. This is a huge club around the world. So, you know, this is a, this is a you know, massive... It's not a, it's not a sleeping giant. Yeah. It's a giant. But do you think... No, it's, it's a giant that needs re-energising. Robbie, do you think it is a coincidence that we've been in Europa League for the last three or four seasons? It's a club that needs re-energising. That's what I'm saying. We are at our level and that's why we've got a manager that actually is at our level at this moment. No, this is, now, this is a Southampton level at the moment. No, of course. Because they will get... Yeah. And we're being outplayed by these teams at the moment. I agree. But again, Arsenal fans, we need to look at a whole lot of factors. It seems our ambition as Arsenal fans is much bigger than the club's ambition. I don't think the club is that ready? Of course, people will talk about 72 million. Do you know what? I disagree with you, right? Yeah, my, yeah. I, I, I'm going to stick with my ambition for the club, right? Yeah, because I go around the world with this club, and I've this fan base that this club yeah. has. Yeah, there is no excuse to think small. Yeah, no, it's I mean, a huge club. We, we, are huge. Not, we as fans are not thinking small, and that yeah, yeah. is why we want the best. But I don't think the club, the management of the club, are as serious as we are. I think there's they're ready to settle for this. It's a resort business. Unaimi is not getting it done. So it, should, go, go. It, it, should, it should have gone a couple of weeks ago, but they're not making that decision. And lastly, also to add, we need to again look at the quality of our players. I feel we're slightly deluded as Arsenal fans, but look at the midfield. We've got Gwendozi, who was playing two seasons ago in the 17 league in France, anchoring our midfield. He's playing for France now. He's in he's the French not, squad. He, he was, he's in the French squad. He, he's an auxiliary player in, in, in the he's French. He's still in the French squad. He's an international player. But, is, but do you want to build a team around a player like that? Let's be honest. If you're going to, when we had Fabregas as a youngster, we had Vieira right beside him. You need big players. You need you need serious people in the team. And we need. I feel we need to invest in quality players. Okay, let me let me get a little man here. Eh? What about you? I want to get, get the view of a, of a young fan. Do, do you think, Emery, do you think his time's up? Yeah, uh, if, if you don't want to fight for Arsenal, just go. If, if you just want to lose against teams like uh, draw against Southampton, they lost against Leicester 9-0. 9-0. You, you see, you see uh, Leicester turning up here, beating us 10-0. No, no they don't. No, they don't. So I think it has to go and someone, someone who actually thinks about Arsenal is not a wee place I can get money. Uh, what, what about you, Emery? Stays or go for you? I would rather say that all of the fans need to maybe see a psychologist after this because the performances are so terrible. But I want to ask, what is the problem? The chicken or the egg? Who comes first? Well, I think it's the chicken. Are the bad performances a result of the bad Who's the atmosphere? chicken? The chicken is the manager, isn't it? Oh, you, are you thinking a bad atmosphere is causing that? I'm wondering well, what comes first, the bad atmosphere or the bad performances, well, it, you, you or the know, other way around. Well, in football, if you perform well, you're going to get good atmospheres. But I must tell you, Robbie, today was my first ever game at Arsenal. I've come from very far and I was so excited. And I'm sitting in the heavens up at the top. And I'm singing, I'm singing, but nobody else is singing with me. And I'm so upset now. And I do not understand what's going on. The manager stays or go for you? No, I think everyone else should just take a chill pill 
and hopefully the performances will help themselves out. Okay. What about Emery? Stay or go? He has to go. Is this the Arsenal team that's ever going to make top four this season? Look at where we are now, seventh. You've got Sheffield United, you've got Tottenham teams who are on top of us in the league. Seriously, today was a disgrace. Literally, like, praise to Joe Willett for that goal line clearance today. But it's just not good enough. Emre needs to go. He has to go. Oh, let me ask, let me ask these guys. I mean, you've been, you've been chatting so much right here. I can't even hear myself. Right. <laughs> right. Huh? All right. Does he, does he stay or go? He goes. He goes. He stays. Honestly. He goes. He stays. Yeah. Honestly. 100%. He goes. Why, why do you think he should stay? Why? Well, I believe he stays. He should have a chance. Why? Because, he done? Because, because he had never, he never had a chance. He never had a chance to perform. Every single week, every single week, he put the teams out, he trains, he believes in players, and players, players, no, 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 no. But players never believe. And like I said, no, 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 no. But let me speak, please. Like I said, whatever, whatever you do, whatever you do for the job, right? Whatever you do for the job, the manager of your line or the director of your line believe in, believe in you. So if you're fucking postman, or if you are trademan, or if you are stuck in this, st uh, uh, whatever shelves whatever the managers believe and then if the stuff has not been done as it should be the manager is not losing the job hold on hold on, hold on. if i'm the manager oh, oh, wait oh, wait one one second if i'm the man no if i'm if i own a company and you if i own a company yeah wait one second you one second and you're the manager you so you you work for me you're the manager and then oh, hold on hold on hold on one second and then underneath yeah, he's your employee and all that. I wouldn't employ him. And there, and right, the, perf the, the staff are performing terribly. Yes. The first person I come to is you. Yes. I say to, and I say to you, I, I, hold on, hold on, and I'll say to you, what, what, why are these guys not performing? You're not allowed to get rid of the guys. No, 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 no. You and if, and if you, and I'll say to you, and if you don't get them performing, you're gone. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, yeah. first things first. You telling me I'm, I'm not doing my job properly because you're the owner. No, I'm, I'm saying, the I'm saying to you. Yes. That if you, as the manager, don't get these guys yes, working absolutely. and performing, yes. you're gone. So I'm going back to this guys, and okay. I say like, look guys, you need to do this and this. You need to do X, Y, Z. And then if they're still and not performing, then what happens? You've got no responsibility. Then, well, you then eventually I will go. You but it, but no, 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 no. But is the question: Is it me at fault or this bunch of fucking cunts? Is it me at fault? Is it me? Is it me? Right? Okay. No, 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 no. As an Arsenal supporter, yeah, as you a, know, I hear your point. I hear your point. It's easy to say, manager out and what? Uh, no, no, no. I hear so your point. I hear your point. All right, all right, all right. Good point. Good point. Does he stay or go? Nah, he's got to go. Yeah. Got to go. Just imagine, imagine Pochettino comes in, he wins the league at Shout Hot Lane. Uh, that will, that's a dream. It will bring a smile to our face. I'll show every single team. Right. I can't, Emery, Emery can't help with individual, individual errors. What Socrates did today. Even I, even I could do better than that. I just passed back to the keeper. What the fuck? Southampton could have scored five goals today. They missed so many open so goals. Stay or go? He's got to fucking go, mate. He's got to go. Excuse the French. <laughs> <laughs> stay or go? Go. Uh, it's my first time here and I'm here trying and, me and screaming and singing. This is what I get. 2-2, two, 1-2, two, two. only like a debt and I see and Joe Willock, that's it. So go? Yeah, go or go? Stay or go? He's got to go. I mean, a month ago I was saying to people, wait to January, wait to the end of the season. Three points out of 15, not good enough. However, the players are there. It's a close call at the moment. The defence, you cannot put David, David Luiz in central. Put him in front of the <laughs> central defence. And he's not having a steady st team. No steady build-up. We didn't get Bold, Adams, Winterburn, Dixon, etc. overnight. They had a run of games. Aubameyang and Lacazette today ran their... They, but they put a shift in. They ran their heart out. And they came over and said thanks to the fans. Others, one or two, did. Midfield, Gunduzi and Torreira, uh, yep. The ref, what on earth was he doing? Mm. So in a sense, we've got the fabric of a really good side. But what he hasn't shored up is the defensive frailties. My personal view, Bellerin, Tierney, Holding and Chambers. Let them have five, ten games and it'll turn around. But he, okay. may, he may well have gone by then. All right, so will he be here or will he be gone? 
I don't know, he's still here at the moment, but it doesn't look like most of the fans want Unai Emery. There. It might be taking him. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>